stop being lazy, get up. Good morning. Transformative habit. <laughs> morning first of all i want to say you don't need to wake up this early to get your life back together i'm only waking up this early because this is my sleep schedule regardless of studying getting my life back together or lazing around so you do you So I'm currently on plastic surgery as part of my final year of medical school. And one thing about surgical specialties is that they start quite early in the morning. I need to leave home at 7am to be able to be at the hospital on time. But on top of that, I've got university work to catch up on, exams to prepare for. I gotta eat and exercise and all of that, which I've been struggling to balance. So this week, we'll get our lives back on track and try to create a sustainable habit system that we can rely on when life becomes overwhelming. I know I need to clean up the mess in this room, but I needed to prioritize my tasks, so we're going to the library first. Thank you. No problem. Oh my god, my card didn't work to get into the library. I think it's because I brought the old one with me, but thankfully I bumped into this another student and he let me in. I want to share one simple but transformative habit I've been trying to integrate into my life and it's called the frog habit. The idea is that you start your day by tackling the most difficult tasks on your to-do list. By doing this first of all you get out of the way and also you feel more accomplished and motivated to do the smaller tasks that follow. It's called the frog habit because Mark Twain said if it's your job to eat a frog it's best to do it first thing in the morning and if it's your job to eat two frogs then it's best to eat the biggest one first. For me right now the biggest frog I have to eat is preparing a case on a patient I saw who had a breast reconstructive surgery due to her breast cancer because in a bit I'll need to present the case to the surgeon to get it signed off. On my way to hospital and it's raining as always. I just got back from the hospital, we had some teaching and I've been successfully signed off from the six week block of plastic surgery. Yay! Now it's time for the fun stuff which is cleaning and none of my flatmates are home so we can blast some music. My least favourite part of cleaning is carrying this Uber three floors up to my room. Um, pistachio macchiato. Is that good before 25? To me, the key to getting out of a slump is actually just stop being lazy, get up and do it. As simple as this sounds, we have our emotions and limits. Life happens and we can't plan for everything. But we can reflect and learn from anything in life. Sometimes I feel incredibly overwhelmed. But journaling about the situation and my emotions helps me learn and move on so that I can be my best self for my goals in personal and professional life. Big thank you to Day One Journal for sponsoring this portion of the video. Personally, I like journaling in the format of a letter to my future self and take photos to remember my exact 
exact date. I got some letters from when I was 15, but they're just so disorganized. Some are in my notes app, photos get lost in my camera roll. So I love that day one journal has everything in one space. With a premium account, you can add as many photos and videos to your journal as you like. Go to dayoneup.com slash Lily Ha for this. It's also so easy to search for anyone's name or word and relive those moments. If you're interested or you want to support the channel, go to dayoneup.com slash Lily Ha and use code Lily Ha to get a two month free trial with Day One Journal Premium. <laughs> Now let's go to the shops to get some groceries. Where were you going, mate? How's everybody's day week? Unproductive. But what's new? Same, to be honest. I just went in in the morning, then I sat there for ages. That was much more productive than me. Oh god, look at that door. Where, where, where? Oh, where, so where? Oh, that's so beautiful. He's stunning, gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> doing their uh, Ramadan stuff right now. Should be Ramadan out. I like the mixed one. Hmm, what are we cooking today? I can't pack my stuff. You could get a shot of me getting some spinach. What about that? No duh. Do we speak for any of them? <laughs> Wait, I actually don't need that. So I'll put that back. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. What are you cooking? Alu burrata. What do you guys think about meal prepping? Do you think it's productive? Um, yeah, because it saves you some time afterwards and like for example you can take food with you to placement. Mm. Uh, I just get bored. I'm not a fan of meal prepping. Do you get bored of eating the same thing? I try to make like two things if I'm meal prepping and then have an alternative. I feel like it saves time after coming from hospital and like you're so tired that you yeah. don't want to cook anything. I would say food prepping is so good to save money. I'd end up spending so much money at the hospital on food if I didn't. Anybody to around the corner to lock my car? No. Wait, why did you not lock your car? Oh, I'm sure I did, but I just get this like really like obsessive. Yeah. So I need to go take a picture of it now, otherwise I'm not here to relax. <laughs> so bad. Like, I'm getting cut in tips. Yes. Come on, mommy. She got the super strength. Cat to the rescue. But if you're really doing a get my life together video, you do some meal prep. Get your life together, girl. Work harder. Oh well. You know what you could do? You should go to a cafe and pretend like you're getting your life together. <laughs> Nothing makes me feel like I have my stuff in order than when I'm sat at a cafe with a drink. I was Laptop. doing that this morning, but then you were like, we need to go to the shop. <laughs> True. After Rasilla bullied me into it, <laughs> with meal prepping for the week in advance. Once I moved out of home for uni and my mummy wasn't cooking for me anymore, I've noticed how much my diet affects my mood and energy. I don't always have time to cook every day, so bulk cooking saves time and money and it helps me eat nutritious meals every day. <laughs> Whilst waiting for James, I'll tell you about this habit stacking phenomenon I read on Atomic Habits. So you link a habit you want to develop like exercising with the habits you already have, like hair washing. When I'm busy, even if I don't finish my full workout, I made it a habit to do some form of exercise before I wash my hair. Even if it's just five squats in my room for 10 seconds, it might not seem like much for my fitness goals, but it's just so that I don't break the habit, I don't break the chain. Because in my mind, hair washing is a trigger cue for for exercising and this practice of not breaking the chain of small actions helps you build lasting routines and can be applied to any part of life. I've been consistent with this hair washing exercising routine for almost three years so it really did work for me. Where are now? <laughs> We're on our way to the gym. To be honest, for me, once I get busy, the first thing I drop to save time is exercising. Yeah, I do the exact same thing as well. I think it's been so busy recently. Doing like a research project and running CMF and stuff. I need to get back into it, it's really important. Yes, we are getting back to it. 
we're here. Yeah, it is quite busy. You know how I'm gonna film? Oh, I'm gonna get like the most embarrassing moments of my life again. I thought you were used to it. I'm not used to it anymore. I get waves of like confidence and then self-consciousness, you know? We're done! Good work, mate. <laughs>